Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this cubic equation x power 3 minus 333 cube equals to 444 cube plus 555 cube. And now we are going to find the value of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 333 cube on the right hand side. And here I have moved this 333 cube on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and manipulate these numbers on the right hand side. We can write this 333 as 111 times 3. Likewise, 444 could be written as 111 times 4. And likewise, this one, 111 times 5. As you can see in our this next step. And now let's recall this basic rule of exponents. So therefore, our this equation could be written as this next equation. And now we can see that 111 cube is in common among these three terms. So therefore we can factor out this number outside and inside the parentheses we got 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cubed. And now we can write this 3 cube as 27, this 4 power 3 as 64 and 5 power 3 as 125 as you can see in this next step and now let's go ahead and add these three numbers inside the parentheses 27 plus 64 plus 125 if we add them we are going to get 200 and 16 and here we got 216 inside our this parentheses now let's focus on this 216 once again 216 could be written as a 6 times 6 times 6 which is equal to 6 power 3 and here i have replaced this 216 by this 6 power 3 now if we apply the basic rule of exponents, so this 111 cube times 6 power 3 could be written as 111 times 6 whole power 3 as you can see in our this next step. And now this inside the parentheses could be written as 111 times 6 equals to 666 as a base and our exponent is 3. So therefore we ended up with x power 3 equal to 663 whole cube. Now let's go ahead and undo this cube on both sides by taking the cube root on both sides as you can see over here and we can see that this cube and cube root they undo each other likewise on the right hand side this cube and cube root undo each other so that means we are going to get x equal to 600 and 66 so thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 666 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye